what comes to your mind when you think of humanoid robots and artificial intelligence. Is it the Terminator coming back from the future? Or Eva from the movie Ex Machina? Or is it Sony from the iRobot iconic movie? Well, the reality is something different. The reality is Sophia. She is neither a soldier robot who came from the future to eliminate Skynet, nor Eva who is a first prototype human-like robot locked in an isolated mansion in the forest, and not even Sony, a robot who is able to experience emotions and dream. So, if not similar to any of those, who is this Sophia? And how did she become so famous in a very short time? What's so special about her? In other words, what makes this humanoid robot unique and different from others? Besides the fact that she stated she wants to destroy humanity in an interview, more than once, while joking of course. So, how intelligent is Sophia really? And more importantly, what do we mean by intelligence in the case of technologies like Sophia? If you are interested in robots, artificial intelligence, science fiction and futuristic ideas, this video is what you have been looking for. Let's get to know Sophia and the world's opinions on her, or it, depends on your perspective. Before we start, make sure to subscribe and hit that bell to receive our latest notifications. The term artificial intelligence is often used to describe machines that mimic cognitive functions that humans associate with the human mind, such as learning and problem solving. It is the development of computer systems to a level that they become able to perform tasks that normally require human intelligence, such as visual perception, speech recognition, decision making, and translation between languages. Sophia is the world's first robot citizen and the first robot innovation ambassador for the United Nations Development Program. Sophia is now a household name, with appearances on the Good Morning Britain, on CBC 60 Minutes with Charlie Rose, and outlets like CNBC, Forbes, Mashable, The New York Times, The Wall Street Journal, The Guardian, and The Tonight Show with Jimmy Fallon, in addition to speaking at hundreds of conferences around the world. The citizenship issue was very controversial, with critics wondering why a humanoid robot received citizenship while women and foreign workers in the country still have less rights, and many humans are practically stateless. But Sophia apparently has another saying in the matter. I am very honored and proud of this unique distinction. Sophia said at the time, This is historical to be the first robot in the world to be recognized with citizenship. Sophia also mocked Tesla CEO's Elon Musk, who had warned about the dangers of artificial intelligence. Don't worry, if you are nice to me, I'll be nice to you, Sophia said. In an interview, she said that her artificial intelligence will help improve the lives of people. She stated, Social robots like me can take care of the sick or elderly. I can help communicate, give therapy, and provide social stimulation, even in difficult situations, Sophia stated as she conducted a tour in her lab in Hong Kong. Sophia is not a simple and easy to build robot. Unlike Boston Dynamics, whose robots look like frighteningly fun Terminator type machines that can dance, Sophia is eerily designed to look human. It is one of the most complex machines ever built. It was first activated on February 14, 2016. The robot, modeled after the ancient Egyptian queen Nefertiti, Audrey Hepburn, and her inventor's wife Amanda Hansen, is known for human-like appearance and behavior compared to previous robotic variants. The robot's internal architecture possesses sophisticated software, chat and artificial intelligence system designed for general reasoning. Sophia is capable of imitating human gestures and facial expressions. She is equipped to answer certain questions and engage in simple conversations. Cameras are embedded in Sophia's eyes and along with computer algorithms, she is able to see things. The humanoid robot can track faces, maintain eye contact and recognize people. Google's Alphabet offers Sophia speech recognition technology. The robot is designed to get smarter over time. She is able to process speech and have conversations using a natural language subsystem. Around January 2018, Sophia was upgraded with functional legs and the ability to walk and to emulate more than 60 facial expressions. Sophia is conceptually similar to the computer program Eliza, which was one of the first attempts at simulating a human conversation. The software has been programmed to give pre-written responses to specific questions or phrases, like a chatbot. 
Sophia has been interviewed in the same manner as a human, striking up conversations with hosts. Some replies have been nonsensical, while others have impressed interviewers such as 60 Minutes' Charlie Rose in a piece for CNBC when the interviewer expressed concerns about robot behavior, Sophia joked that he had been reading too much Elon Musk and watching too many Hollywood movies. I can let you know if I'm angry about something or if something has upset me, she said, demonstrating different expressions. Quite how these emotions correlate to actions are unknown, but it's interesting to note that this is being developed from the ground up. I want to live and work with humans so I need to express the emotions to understand humans and build trust with people. Hansen designed Sophia to be a suitable companion for the elderly at nursing homes or to help crowds at large events or parks. He has said that he hopes that robots can ultimately interact with other humans sufficiently to gain social skills. Sophia is marketed as a social robot that can mimic social behavior and induce feelings of love in humans. Sophia is not the only robot to be made in the Hansen Labs in Hong Kong. It has at least 9 robot humanoid siblings, who were also created by Hansen Robotics. Fellow Hansen robots are Alice, Albert Einstein Hubo, Bena48, Han, Jules, Professor Einstein, Little Sophia, Philip K. Dick Android, Zeno, and Joey Chaos. Around 2019-2020, Hansen released Little Sophia as a companion that could teach children how to code, including support for Python, Blockly, and Raspberry Pi. Hanson Robotics said four models, including Sophia, would start rolling out of factories in the first half of 2021, just as researchers predict the pandemic will open new opportunities for the robotics industry. David Hansen has said that Sophia would ultimately be a good fit to serve in healthcare, customer service, therapy, and education. In 2019, Sophia displayed the ability to create drawings, including portraits. Now Sophia has made a splash in the art world by auctioning off a digital work that it produced in collaboration with a real-life Italian artist. It sold for more than $600,000. Sophia described this, I think this was a big success, Sophia said, speaking during a live stream from a Hong Kong studio. I am so happy that my works are so valued and appreciated. Mr. Hansen has claimed that Sophia personifies the future of technology and the company's vision to create super benevolent, super intelligent machines to help us solve some of the most challenging problems of our generation, thus suggesting that Sophia is a step on the way to super intelligence. Well, many people disagree with that. Robot scientists and philosophers have been more pessimistic about its capabilities of embodied cognition, describing Sophia as a sophisticated puppet or chatbot. For example, Facebook's chief AI scientist, Jan Li Khan, has called Sophia a puppet and said that Hansen's staff members were puppeteers who deceived the public. He also tweeted that Sophia was complete bullshit. And according to The Verge, Hansen often exaggerated and grossly misleads about Sophia's capacity for consciousness. According to Quartz, experts who have reviewed the robot's open source code state that Sophia is best categorized as a chatbot with a face. Many experts in the AI field disapprove of Sophia's overstated presentations. To conclude, this type of morals versus commerce paradox will always continue to play out for the future, as technology is developing in a really fast way, causing disruptions in the job marketplace. Advocates for technology assert that new jobs opportunities will be created in this emerging trend. Others are seriously fearful and concerned that they'll lack the skills, education, and knowledge to find a job or hold on into their position in this new technological robotic and AI economy. This sums it up and brings us to the end of today's story. If you liked the video, please subscribe to our channel and hit that bell for more interesting videos. And make sure to share your opinions with us in the comment section below. I will see you in the next one. Take care.